back to back to this asteroid rock. Top clock's ticking. We got you know engin missing engineers to find, torches to t put out, and hopefully the ringleader to catch. Yeah, I'll report it like that. No, I just thought I'd talk to myself. Uh, I mean, I thought you were talking to me for a moment. I just must have been too smooth. I didn't, didn't even realize. <laughs> Am I better at this than you? Uh, that, that's one definition of better. <laughs> Another definition is lack of communication. Shut up. What's up here? Logs. Computers filled with operations logs and personal journals for a small pirate music station operated by X-57's engineers. It includes scripts for several promotional messages, none of which appear to have been recorded. Radio X-57, rocking this rock since 2182. Radio X-57, <clears throat> when your world seems hollow, we help you touch the sky. X-57, <clears throat> talk hard. And Radio X-57, your last best hope for rock within 300,000 kilometers. The number of rock <laughs> puns upsets me. Yep. Mm. Just reach out and touch the sky. Looks like a minefield. No. Uh, cross the gap. I think. The question is, to which one are we going first? Damn. Sorry. There's a lot of feedback. And if I can fix it. In the meantime, just keep doing... I got a better idea. So, How about you stop uh, talking yeah. before you get caught? Yeah, what's that to say? She suddenly got really loud. Can I climb this? Let's find out. No. Maybe? Nope. I don't think even a Skyrim horse can climb that. You underestimate the horses in Skyrim. You're right, because I never used them. <coughs> Gotta remember, to a horse in Skyrim, physics is me uh, more of a polite suggestion. Well, just like my year. Mm, not exactly. Really, though, a few times I do play Skyrim, I don't exactly horse around. If I could, I'd slap you. Data link between transmission tower and several survey locations has been restored. Survey station locations are now on your map. There's a survey station. We've already been there. There's a survey station. And there's a survey station, which means engineer well, and engineer. Well, now you know why it wasn't marked on the map. Yep. But yeah, I remember when I actually learned just how merciless the encounters could be if you forgot to go around with your weapon drawn all the time. So, I kind of... Um, Rather than go around on a horse, I started crouch walking everywhere. Ah, uh, yes, I remember the story. Which is. Because I was playing a stealth shadow then. Kind of silly. I never had any issues with um, having to draw my weapon in a fight. Granted, I, uh, I never used a horse, but that's because I was too busy doing other stuff. And, yeah. also, and also, I hated horses. Yeah, there's that too. Before it was a one time thing in which uh, oh. I was still pretty low level and I happened to run across, I think it was the grass or something, and they just kind of wrecked me. Is scorching, on the could show it off, so. scorching on the victim's hard suit suggests he escaped the burning interior of his vehicle only to be gunned down by his assailants. Uh -huh. Well, that's two engineers. Yep.
I am not going to wait on the safety of the last one. Probably for the best. Wait, can I hit that? Darn it. <laughs> Maybe see we get closer. Yeah, I won't bank on it. Or maybe you point your tank upwards because it can't fucking aim up. See? Shut up. Part of me does want to get right on to Skyrim at some point, but then I remember how much I don't really care for spending 3 hours modding for it to crash in 5 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling all too well. <coughs> but our Montoya. Yeah. Communications are down, there's an, there are non corporate dropships landing near the main facility. There are flashes of light over the horizon. I can't be certain, but I'd guess it's heavy arms fire. As per emergency protocol, I'm arming the defense drones. I'm not wasting. I'm not waiting for pick my pickup. I'm going to investigate. Drones! Wonderful. What good did they do? How helpful. Yeah. Was his body around here? No. Leads to the east. Yeah, we either I can't see the blue let the footprints on the vehicle. Well, there's that torch, then that torch, that station and that anomaly. We have a few things to do here. Eh? Oh. Right, heading east, so it's probably that. <coughs> Looks like he died from a single shot through his helmet, likely from a sniper. Whoever killed him didn't even bother to search his body. There's still equipment in the service pack. Hmm, I love it, Luke. some of those, right? Indeed. Yeah, the more powers you have, the harder it is to keep your gear in top shape. Yeah, that makes sense. Because then you have to upgrade all that stuff, which boosts your power strength. Which reminds me, I might want to boost mine. Also, shield bonus. Shield bonus is nice. Uh, get off the map, thank you. Yeah, well, probably found the place. More turrets. I feel like the entire uh, the entire reason that the turrets are in those shells is a response to players just, you know, distant sniping the turrets. Like we did on the moon. I don't think it helps them. I mean, it at least forces you to actually get within range of the turrets and fight them, instead of, you know, fighting them from so far away that, uh, you've already destroyed them by the time that the first rocket's getting close to you. Kind of interesting though. The shield can't stop speed from the Ragnite, but it can still stop missiles apparently. I don't know. Which are also pretty strong. Oh boy, rocket drums! That's what I fucking wanted to see.
Yeah, that works. Physics is a bitch. Damn, hit me, hit me with a um, sabotage. Ah, uh, that's what you want to do with this one. When you're not completely looking at his legs, it still looks like he, like his crouch while it's really weird. Yeah, it kind of does. It's kind of like throw walking or something. Mm -hmm. like that. Man, a lot of drones. I'm in danger! <laughs> Liara eating a rocket right at the end of it. Perimeter clear. Yeah, that sounds out right. Sounds exactly like something she would do. God damn it. There we go. Oh, okay. Sometimes I wish I could just do those puzzles for you. <laughs> it would certainly make my life easier. Thankfully, I won't have to deal with them for much longer. Are you there? You've got to hurry. You really pissed them off. Their leader's setting charges everywhere. I think he's going to blow this whole facility. Get away from there! Don't shoot, please! No! Ah, I'm doing this. Who's shutting down the torches? Have you said so? It's not like they could stop us anyway. Yeah, well. But once again, Lemon Syndrome. this rock. Mm. Yeah, it also knows the terrain is not as insanely rough. It's still, you know, jagged and rough, but it's not, hey, let's just paint with the no noise brush and nothing else. Yeah, it is a bit better than that. It's almost like they actually, you know, noticed, oh hey, everybody hated this. Yeah, there's a, a little bit more roundness. You know? Yeah, just slightly. Also, your wheel got damaged again. Ah, eh, who gives a fuck? I think we already did. Yeah, but we haven't been to that. If I'd remembered it's over there, I would have grabbed it while we were here. But I didn't. I don't know. 
The one we're going to now is the one with the minefield, right? Yep, that's the last one. Okay. Which is probably where all of them are. I wonder if they're always in a one, or it's just always the last one. It's always the last one. That's disappointing. Well, shit, that's not a button I want to push. Yeah, that's uh, possibly the wrong button, but hey, that wheel is like too full. <laughs> yeah, it only costs 15 Omni Gel for one wheel. See, Himes. A severe burns and shows sign of major concussive trauma. Mercifully, the explosion would have killed her instantly. And there's something, I guess. They got in all right. That's all the engineers. And we just find. And we just need to find. Uh, now you gotta shut off that torch. Yeah. And find uh, Katie, I would say. Katie and Balak, I think was his name. Yeah, this is some glass. Uh. I was referring to the Batarian. Oh, yeah, that's it. Well, it's not gonna be his fine for much longer. Hmm. Yeah, that's a word for it. side those are pretty big torches on the other side this is a uh, what 22 kilometer long asteroid yeah uh, that is, it just doesn't feel like uh, be careful yeah i know there's really no safe way it doesn't feel like they will really get it that much propulsion in comparison yes but you have to remember Space is empty. As long yes. as as long as you put a little uh, propulsion on something, it's gonna keep going until something else makes it stop. Yes, well, we're technically no longer is in space, given that the constant shot the uh, reentry corona. The re the re the yeah, the reentry corona. Yeah. It's like now there's actual, you know. Friction and pressure and stuff. So. Fuck's sake. Gotcha, gotcha. That's what happens when you don't put any points in snipers. That's what happens when you poorly design a sniper rifle system in a game. I mean, yeah, there's that too. Can't you just shoot them? No, I'm gonna save. Oh, we're gonna make it one save. There we go, I can save now. You just need to be outside the minefield, I guess. And uh, you can't just shoot them. Oh, there's more of them. 
Of course they do. Why did you try? I don't remember the way through these things. Really, the way is not forward. Is they're all over the damn place. Well, there's gonna be one spot in which they had it. Oh, oh, don't try that. <laughs> like you, you can clearly tell you can't just squeeze through. This might that be clear enough. Yeah. Or still walking slowly might help as well. <sighs> that was close. Okay, no more mines. Yeah. Just to be safe. Probably yes. There's uh, a few red dots. Yeah, the area is uh, pretty effective. You know when she's not dying. Yeah. She needs a lesson. Not here. Hold it right there. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. That's a different guy. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, and we can end this peacefully. I didn't think you Batarians knew the meaning of the word. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are gonna die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Well, it's not too late. You can still leave. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. So why do you listen to him? Good question. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Balak wants you dead. And what Balak wants, Balak gets. I can't change that. I mean... You say that. Do you always want to be second in command? Get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Then you can start giving me orders. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. 
That's not what we're This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises. For both our sakes. Balak will be dead before you get off the asteroid. I hope you're right. Balak's hold up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. At least someone here has common sense. Yeah. Pragmatic villainy. He's he's a bastard, don't get me wrong. But he knows yeah, when to fall. He was stealing for a well yeah, of course he was stealing for a quick slave grab. He was in this for a quick buck. Let's not let's let's not beat around a bush. Yeah. And once he realized he, he once once he realized he uh, instead of signing on for a quick buck, he signed on for a war crime, he wanted out. Yeah, he just couldn't get out. <laughs> yeah, at that point, he was... He had, you know, typical war crime get, ordering boss. If you if you will not serve on the front line, then you shall serve on the firing line. If he's not exactly much of a serve, definitely not a long term. Pretty much. I have to run all the way back to the Mako. Yep. I think it's a bit for the It's right there. So, uh, anyone got any good stories? We might be here a while. It's over there. I'll give you what's up! Uh, listen, they say no medicine can cure cure a fool, but maybe there's something that can cure a bad sense of direction. Yes, a fluffy fox next to you. <coughs> listen, uh, we never did land orienteering when I was at Fort McClellan. That I even never done land orienteering. Uh, Alpha and Charlie companies did that. I was in Bravo. We kind of didn't for some reason. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I just had a pretty good sense of direction. In, in, in that sense, kind of like how um, La Morena, like, I need. Mean, I need a lot of help figuring out the war and in base puzzles for the first times. The puzzles for that just what the word about just paying attention and looking at the shape and stuff of the rooms and all of that. Yeah, those I just did right away. No one pretty much no one else I've seen do less space or anything about it seem capable of doing them. I just kind of noticed those things. Hmm. Except when I don't. Yeah, except for when you don't. What was well, that I'm there? usually pretty good at it. Oh, you just repaired those wings. Alright, what's in here? I'm on my own. Complete cargo manifest of containers outside. Mostly uninteresting excavation equipment and parts for prefabricated work shacks. Footnote catches your eye. Exposes mood to grid reference 32416 for safety. That sounds relevant. Interesting. Well, I guess we're going to for a bit of a detour on explosives. Don't worry, Katie, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get, get there to eventually. You. When we get to it. Jesus, yeah. right on the edge of the map. Yep. Probably so you don't find it by accident. Oh boy, grenades! Quite a few of them, in fact. And you're full. <laughs> okay, I'm full on grenades now. Let's go. Balak!
Don't worry, I'm sure they will have more ammo clips waiting for you when you finish fighting to the main facility. Listen, if I'm out of grenades, if I'm... Oh, shit, I'm out of bounds. I have no idea if that does anything. <laughs> I don't want to find out, though. So only just dies. I would be very upset. Listen, if I run yeah. out of grenades, if I run out of ammo, then we always have plan B. Punch it in the face. Punch it in the face. Look at the turrets around the little conveyors. <laughs> That's kind of amusing. Kind of amusing that you didn't take on the Urganis or your ammo magazines, you there. What? If you were looking at all of the extra grenade pack and I was talking, hey, don't worry, there will, I'm sure you'll need the extra ammo clips later. We don't use ammo here. Yeah, you do. I'm giving you a very perplexed look right now. Isn't that why you reload all the time? <laughs> Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> Doesn't take much to entertain this fox now, does it? The more entertained about how long it took you to get that one. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Hey, look, more grenades. It's almost like we're gonna need them. Hey, more grenades. Well, somebody's having fun with this last play. We could say so. That must have sucked. Get yeeted into a pile of explosives. This is about to get ugly. Clear. Somehow made it through that without anyone going down. That's a nice change. Yeah. Talk to them. Huh. Uh, you need to call this one first. Oh, red dot. Got him. That was fast. Garrus got him. That's who. It, that's who's up there. Uh, yeah, and that just opened up. Suddenly, AI actually having good pathfinding. Apparently. Sounded scared. You humans. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. I'm oh, just getting more. started. Predictable, but this is over. I'm leaving this asteroid. If 
you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. I can't just let you go, Valley. Not after what happened here. This is nothing! You humans have done far worse to the Batarians! We've been forced into exile, forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Don't make it sound like you're the innocent party here. You brought it upon yourselves. Really? You invaded our space, took our resources, and when we asked the Council for aid, they brushed us off. We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. But it didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. How does killing innocent people make up for that? We had no other options. Sometimes you need to get someone's attention before they'll listen. That's why we attacked you at Elysium. That's why I'm doing this. You forced our hand! You attacked us first. When we retaliated, you ran off to the Council hoping for help. When you didn't get it, you hid. You've got no one to blame but yourselves. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand. And I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. Uh, uh. <laughs> What's more valuable, killing him or saving the others? Uh, we already made a promise to kill him. Uh, this is painful. Paragon or Renegade? There's no good option here, though. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, we'll see him again later in, in a later game if we let him go now. I suppose. I just wish there was some way to, you know, like, save them before. Yeah. You could go. But this isn't over. Find you eventually. Maybe. But I made sure you won't follow me today. Those charges are still on timer. Better hurry if you want to save your friends. Yeah. Of course. We are definitely gonna kill him later. Bye bye. There it is. Really, it does seem like they would have hurt us more than the ones that were in jail. It would seem that way, wouldn't it? At that point, he would more likely have killed himself if he, if he had just detonated the charges right away. As in, nobody said it was ever, ever the perfect plan. That's all the charges. Letting him go was better than the alternative. I thought you were going to stay someplace safe. I... There might have been something I could have done to help. I thought I should be here. I know this asteroid better than anyone. You did it. Another hour and our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city. The most densely populated region. Yeah... But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Is Katie in here? Is she alright? Is her team? Valak was holding them hostage. I let him go to save them. Let a terrorist go or sacrifice innocent lives. I'm glad that's not a choice I had to make. Is that... 
Will you get in trouble for that? I mean, he could do the same thing somewhere else, couldn't he? The Alliance has a whole navy full of people like me, waiting to take him down. We'll be watching. Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and speak to my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. Burn it. You know, I'm actually curious. Quarian armor. You have Quarian armor? That's hard to come by. We hired a few to help install the torches. They really knew their stuff. You're welcome to take it. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineer. Have you found them? Yes, all of them. Their bodies, anyway. Oh. I see. Well, then. I guess it's better than not knowing. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Be well. Get something. Yeah, that oof there, Colossus 6 armor, that's interesting. Hmm. Achievement, cool, I have no idea what achievement I could have just gotten. Does <coughs> Stain tell you? No, this is an origin. I you let Balak go, to save us. I, I have expected you to just let us die, sacrifice the few for the many. Then I'd be no better than the Batarians. Besides, Balak won't get away with this. I know who he is now. He can't run forever. <laughs> you sound like my brother. He was always so stubborn, but always willing to do the right thing. No matter what. I wish I could have saved him, too. It's not your fault. You did what you could. Aaron died in the place he loved. He was the one who convinced me to join the team here. That it would be an adventure. And it sure was an adventure. I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful. A bit too much adventure. But I should see the end. Yeah, I understand. You've been through enough today. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Adventure is the uh, feeling of for everyone. I don't even know your name. Commander Shepard, with special tactics and reconnaissance. Thank you, Commander Shepard. Not exactly what I expected, but thank you. I'll get out of your way. So long, Kate. I appreciate that, Commander. Goodbye. Level up. Hey, more skip points. <laughs> and now we can we can do PF like of your, I guess. Why not that's most with the actual exit? Uh, yeah, lower level. I think. Maybe. We did fight our way up, so it's probably down. But which down is the question? That down. Down, down. That down. Yeah, exactly. What I said. Maybe. Possibly. No. No? No. All right. Let's get off this rock. Yeah, that was a very large rock. And the only thing left now is Vermeer and catching Saren. Oh my! We're almost there. Yep. That's for next time. Bye.